The default map view works great out of the box. You can pan around, you can zoom in and out, and you can do whatever you want really. It's a regular map view. In case you're wondering, you need to hold down Option to trigger a virtual pinch gesture. Just hold down Option, then click and drag to pinch in and out, as if you're moving one finger, and the other finger will move in the opposite direction automatically. Now, to make this map work, we have to make some connections inside Interface Builder. So head back to main.storyboard in Xcode, then go to the Assistant Editor, and I want you to drag out a connection for this map kit view into our view controller. So I'll control drag from here into our view controller, and I'll call this thing just map view. You should also set your view controller to be the delegate of the map view by control dragging from the map view up to the view controller and releasing, then choosing delegate. If you do not do that, the rest of this project will not work and you'll be very confused. Now you can see a big build error here in our code. This is because we have MK map view. MK, the start, tells us very clearly this is not part of UI kit. And so Xcode will have no idea what the MK map view means because we only have import UI kit up here. If we're to add import map kit. And when we do that, that new import, it'll now understand what an MK map view is. We're now done with IB, so I'll go back to the standard editor, then open up view control at Swift in the main window and make some space for it like that. We're going to start by adding some annotations to our map. Annotations are objects that contain a title, a subtitle, and a position. The first two are both strings. And the third is a new type called CL location coordinate 2D, which is a structure that holds latitude and longitude for where the annotation should be placed. Map annotations are described not as a class, but as a protocol, which means if we want to conform to the protocol, we have to adopt all the right methods and properties the protocol requires. In the case of MK annotation, which is the one we have to adopt to create map annotations, it states we must have a coordinate in our annotation, which makes sense, because there's no point having an annotation on a map if we don't know where it is. The title and subtitle are optional, but we'll provide them anyway. So press Command N to make a new file, then choose iOS, Cocoa Touch Class, then name this thing Capital, and make it a subclass of NS Object. With map annotations, you can't use structs, and you must inherit from NS object because it needs to be interactive with Apple's Objective C code. I'll press Next, then Create. I want to go ahead and change this file as follows. First, we will import MapKit so we can use all the MapKit classes and protocols. Then we'll make our class conform to the MK annotation protocol, which is what defines a place on a map. Inside there, we'll have some properties. We'll say there is a var title, which is an optional string. There is a coordinate, which is a CL location coordinate 2D. And there is some extra information, which is a string. We'll display that ourselves later on. This thing has to have initializer, of course. It's a class. So we'll say init with a title string, a coordinate, CL uh, coordinate, sorry, CL location coordinate uh, 2D, and info string. And let's copy those across. Self-title equals title, uh, self.coordinate is coordinate, and self.info is info. Boom. Just copy those three parameters into our class. Now with this custom subclass, we can create capital cities by passing in their name, coordinate, and information. I'll be using the info property to hold one extra piece of information about each city. So I'll go back to my view controller and add this into view did load. We can say let London equals a capital. We'll use our new initializer. Title is London. Coordinate is a CL location coordinate 2D. Take the latitude and longitude. The latitude for London is 51.507222. Longitude is minus 0.1275. For info, our little tip, we're going to say home to the 2012 Summer Olympics. Boom. Then we'll say our next city is let Oslo equals a capital with a title Oslo. Coordinate is another C allocation coordinate 2D. This thing has the latitude 59.95 and the longitude 10.75. And for information, we'll say 
it was founded over a thousand years ago. Next, we're going to make Paris as a capital with the title Paris, the coordinates, the allocation coordinate 2D. Uh, so its latitude of Paris is going to be 48.8567. And longitude, we're going to say 2.3508. For info, we're going to be called, uh, often called, the City of Light. And we'll do one more. Uh, let Rome is a capital. Title is Rome. Uh, coordinate is C allocation coordinate 2D with uh, latitude uh, of 41.9, longitude of 12.5. Uh, info, I'm going to say, has a whole country inside it, i.e., the Vatican. And there's our four capitals. Actually, in fact, well, they're, they're on Europe. Let's add one outside of Europe. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a bit Eurocentric. Uh, let's do uh, Washington is a capital with the title uh, Washington DC. Coordinates, and I can call it 2D, with the latitude of 38.895111, and a longitude of minus 77.036667. And for info, we're going to say, named after George himself. Boom. So we have now five capital cities from around the world. They all conform to the MK Annotation Protocol, which means we can send them to our map view for display using the Add Annotation method. So we'll say map view dot add annotation London. And then I'll copy and paste that a few times. We have London, Oslo, uh, then Paris, then Rome, then Washington, like that. So add all five of those to our map view as annotations. Alternatively, you can add multiple annotations at once using the add annotations method. Using that method, you replace those five lines with this. Add annotations, then an array of London, Oslo, Paris, Rome, and Washington. Boom, like that. One line of code. That creates an array out of the annotations and sends it in one lump to the map view. If you're on your program now, you should see pins on the map for each city, and you can tap on any of them to make the pin zoom up. There we go, there's London, there's Paris, Rome's down here somewhere, boom, and up here will be Oslo. We can tap on that, and it zooms up nicely, saying Oslo and London. Fantastic, it looks really, really nice. Let's zoom out and try and find Washington, way over here. Boom, Washington, D.C. But where's our info property? To show more information, we need to customize the view used to show the annotations. 